Introduction and System Overview Thank you for choosing the CoagSense PT-INR Monitoring System. The CoagSense system is used to test prothrombin time, PT, in patients taking warfarin for oral anticoagulant therapy. Results are reported as International Normalized Ratio, or INR units, and PT seconds. Since the system directly detects the clot formation, it reports true PT seconds, offering lab quality results from the convenience of your home. This video will cover the basics of using the CoagSense PT-INR monitoring system. For complete instructions, be sure to read the user's manual and all packaging inserts. The CoagSense system consists of a meter, single-use individually pouched PT strips, control strips, and certain accessories required for testing. The power on-off button is located on the right side of the meter. The NFC Near Field Communication Tag Scanner is a built-in scanner that is used to scan the NFC card containing the strip control and test strip data. Micro USB Power Adapter Port is a micro USB port for the power adapter. Ethernet port is used to connect the Ethernet cable for a wired connection. This port is provided with a port cover. There are three touch buttons, Cancel or Previous Screen button, Home Screen button, and View Menu button. The Color LCD touchscreen shows icons for Patient Test, Control Test, Results, or Memory and Settings. The meter performs a self-check when it is first powered on and every time a test strip is inserted. Meter Setup Touch the Settings icon to access the different features. It is a good practice to periodically connect to a local Wi-Fi network so that under the device information, new software version updates can be seen. Device settings can be used to change other features, such as date time. The meter is sent to default factory settings, English is the default language, and the time zone is Pacific Standard Time, UTC minus 8 o'clock. To change the date time, use the up and down arrow keys to get the appropriate month, day, year, or hour, minutes, a.m., p.m., then confirm. User may modify other features such as sound, alarm, and set up the limits for the therapeutic target ranges. Please consult your doctor about which therapeutic target range is appropriate for you. Set up the lower and upper INR ranges of your target range accordingly. The meter is sent to default factory settings of 2.0 to 3.0 INR, which should be changed to individual ranges. Performing a PT test. This video provides a brief overview of how to perform a PT INR self test. Be sure to read your entire user's manual carefully before you use your system. Make sure that you have all the supplies needed before you start, including a test strip, 21-gauge lancet, and sample transfer tubes. Wash your hands with soap and warm water and dry them thoroughly before testing. Not only does this promote a clean testing site, but increasing the flow of blood in the finger will help you capture a sufficient drop of blood. If an alcohol wipe is used, the finger must be completely dry as residual alcohol will affect results. Press and hold the power button on the right side of the meter to power the meter on. Place the meter on a stationary, level surface for testing. When the system finishes starting up, the main menu will be displayed. Press the test button. Confirm that the patient strip lot number and barcode number display matches the information on the test strip pouch. If the number does not match or the field on the meter is blank, then touch NFC tag to the NFC scanner on the meter. If the NFC tag is not available, then manually enter the lot and barcode numbers from the patient test strip, then press the forward arrow button. 
The screen will now display the message to please insert a strip. Hold the round end of the test strip with a wheel facing upwards. Gently push the strip completely into the meter. The strip fits snugly when pushed all the way toward the back wall of the strip holder. The display will show the countdown while meter is warming up. During this time, hold your hand below your heart and massage the middle or ring finger from the palm of your hand toward the last joint of the finger. At the end of the countdown, apply sample is displayed and a green light will start blinking in the sample well. Press down hard on the finger with your lancet and lance your finger according to the instructions provided by your lancet manufacturer. Note the meter stays in apply sample mode for two and a half minutes. 21 gauge lancets are required for proper blood flow. Do not use smaller diabetes lancets. Apply pressure above the joint and gently squeeze the finger from the side using your thumb and index finger from your other hand. The best test sample is when the blood is collected right after the finger stick and put into the sample well without delay. If the blood is not collected or tested quickly, repeat with a fresh finger stick and a new strip. Keep gently squeezing the finger until you produce a pea-sized bead of blood. You must collect the sample within 15 seconds of lancing your finger. Holding the transfer tube horizontal, touch the tip to the bead of blood and let capillary action fill until blood flow stops at the green band. Insert the transfer tube tip into the sample application well of the test strip and touch the tip down at the flashing green light in front of the spinning wheel. Depress plunger completely to dispense the blood. The light should go out and the meter should display testing, please wait. When testing is complete, the meter beeps once and the results, INR and prothrombin time, appear on the screen. Remove the test strip and properly dispose along with the sample transfer tube and lancet. The test result is recorded in memory and it can be found on the main menu using the results button. Push results and choose patient test. Turn off the meter by pressing and holding the power button down until the screen goes dark. If you encounter any error or require technical support, please call Coagusense Technical Support at 866-903-0890. Care and Maintenance No maintenance is required other than routine cleaning and or disinfecting. When the power is off and the USB cable is not connected, the meter housing can be cleaned and disinfected. To clean the outside of the meter, use a clean, damp, non-abrasive cloth. The meter can be disinfected using any germicidal wipes that have 0.55% sodium hypochlorite or 10% bleach solution with a one-minute contact time. The meter should be allowed to air dry before use. The test strip is designed to contain the patient's sample, preventing it from entering the meter. Do not clean or disinfect inside the meter where the test strip is inserted. Cleaning this area should be avoided. The meter can be operated with a power adapter provided in the kit which charges the built-in rechargeable lithium polymer battery. The meter performs a self-test when it is first powered on. If there's any problem with the meter, an error message will be displayed. For a complete list of error messages and their troubleshooting, please refer to the troubleshooting section in the user's manual or contact technical support.